brief introduction on NTT. Okay, do you all know what is NTT? Anything else you know? Let the class be interactive. It will be nice for me as well as you. Isn't it? If you me or only me talking from my end and only you looking at me like this, you know what happens. It doesn't work out. Okay. When I feel bored, I don't understand whether you are getting me or not, whether I am correct or not, whether I am making I want no other thing, isn't it? If you all interact with me, then I can know. Fine anyway. Um we are going to learn about creativity in the course. To put it in a simple word. Okay. Listen carefully. Online students, please listen carefully. Don't be distracted for yourself. Don't off your video. This is the kind request from my side. Please don't off the video. At least the students who are in offline, at least your presence are there. <laughs> Isn't it? So that I can know whether you listen or not, something is going to your mind. At least that I know. The students who are in offline, don't off the videos, roam here and there, prepare coffee, tea, everything, finish and sit. I will give you time in the middle. Okay. I will give you break in the middle. Have your beverages at that time. Okay. So you yourself don't interrupt yourself. If you are not there at home, will you prepare? No, no. Same like that, you all became students in online. Offline, please be attentive. That's all. Okay. Anyway, see, we are going to learn the creative teaching in this. Entity. Okay. So this is nothing but a degree. Uh, entity, MTT and PTT all together we teach here. NTT nursery teacher training, MTT Montessori teacher training and uh, PTT pre-primary. Uh, what is called as what I was telling? PTT. So PTT it is pre-primary teacher training. Where in this pre-primary teacher training we what is called as uh, it is valid till fifth standard. Okay. This course. Okay. Before we got you would have called it as TCH. Now it is NTT. That's all. Okay, so what is called as uh, uh, till third standard you, be, you can become a class teacher and till fifth standard you can become a subject teacher. You will, that means I am telling you, uh, see many of them uh, have multiple degrees over here. You have an ability not only to teach fifth standard for tenth standard also. But this course valid till this, till fifth. That is what I mean. Okay. And uh, what is called as you are eligible. See, nowadays, you know, without the training, I have heard my old students telling me, ma'am, they are rejecting our resumes in the reception itself. Isn't it? Because of no training. So, now after this training, you are eligible to, uh, what is called as, uh, to get job in any of the school which you dream. Okay, in an international school, whichever school you are eligible, you are passed on. There you have to show your talent and you will get, you will uh, achieve, you will get into the job. That is different, but you are eligible. Okay, and uh, what is creativity? Can anybody tell me? Creativity. We what is do by hands. Okay, very good. Using uh, different, uh, different things. Things. Colors. Colors. Okay. Okay. Expressing our talent. Okay. Our own ideas. Okay. Okay. Then? Creating. Creating. What is creating? Like using paint. Ah, very good. Okay. Okay. Then? That's all? See, how to help your child to be creative? That we will learn it here. How to help your child to be creative? What is the importance of creativity in preschool education? They will attract to the creative. Yes, they will be attracted. Children will be attracted to the creations. Teach you with actions and things. Uh, uh, they can understand. They can things. understand more, yes. See, we mainly think about a basic at times like speaking, then reading, writing, counting, and so on like this. But parents believe that creativity is an intrinsic ability of children. Kids are inborn innovators. Yes or no? They are inborn innovators. Where in a very early age they exercise their capacity to question, challenge, and discover. Every child is born creative and imaginative. 
कैसे फ्रेंड देन अबाउट एनीथिंग अबाउट क्रिएटिविटी फोकस ऑन why it is important why creativity is the importance <coughs> in child's development why creativity is important in child's if development if we create the child interest will come on that very good thing. very good so we have to create how to create that you will learn it here basically we take up see encouraging the children to try out with the new things and ideas this is one uh, what is called as one tips which which we can try out with the children isn't it uh, if they physically then what is called as in their intellectual development in their emotional development social development so physically in their physical development how can we help them see the best thing is physically by using their hands and legs on them isn't it skills motor skills that is nothing but uh, various arts and tools some color identity can be used isn't it various arts and crafts can be used for children to uh, what is called as uh, to develop their what is called as uh, their movement isn't it how for example i can give you while painting and paper coloring kids will get to know how to hold and control their paint to brush that is me that is what is called as uh, developing the motor skills fine motor skills yes okay and what is called as emotionally how the child can develop by this uh, creativity is see young kids can use uh, what is called as art and crafts to share their thoughts which they are not at able to express them verbally isn't it next comes intellectually how the children come children can develop intellectual is uh, what is called as uh, see as children grow older uh, they develop how to what is called as uh, problem solving ability will be developed critical thinking ability the child learns is it that socially how the child can develop is uh, singing dancing drama acting all these develop the social skills is it that um what social skills like uh, sympathy communication traffic rules respect to each other is it that communication <coughs> sympathy and respect arts and craft foster and creativity in children how like physical sorry visual arts music visual arts means what see young yes by seeing exactly younger kids enjoy younger kids the kids who are small they enjoy experimenting with what is called as uh, clay paint painting what paint up beat it up for my dad up water it is then uh, what is for as glue paper clay clay yes paint dough clay glue paper and with all this the child uh, foster on their creativity to for what they use all this to draw basic figures and shapes <coughs> is it such visual arts like drawing painting and paper coloring helps the children to develop and they are they are uh, closely related to cognitive processing of the child music music is an uh, creative curriculum in preschoolers now nowadays isn't it for example i can give you cca classes do you all know what is cca classes cca co curricular activities yes you know that means uh, what is called as in schools you know you know nowadays they don't they have separate periods for that so yes. separate periods will be allotted for example in a week two or three periods will be allotted and uh, the teachers will come the outside from the outsiders teachers will come not from the school where the uh, where the teachers are working no not the subject teachers the other teachers music teacher dance teacher and all the teachers will be uh, what is uh? no no practice in subject what what practice about this or yeah about this i'm telling about co curricular activities okay uh, like singing dancing drama acting keyboard playing music yoga playing. for all this teachers will be appointed from the outsiders those teachers will come accompany the students and they will teach in a particular periods and go which is being included into the school hours <coughs> itself did you understand so that is cca classes so these type of arts and crafts are also been included by the schools 
nowadays, almost 99% of the schools. Okay?